Hey everybody, this is Neil Black. I'm at the MIE, the Music Academy International, here in Nancy, France. We're here with the help of Savarez and my musicians, of course, doing a three-day residence masterclass, which we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, performing with them tonight with a lot of the guitar students and the bassists and the drummers and some of the keyboard players. So we're very happy to be here, very happy that, that MIE has, has brought us out. And really want to say thanks to Savarez for their cooperation with this. Yeah, I was rolling and tumbling Cry all night long Yeah, I was rolling and tumbling Lord, I cry all night long Yeah, I woke up in the morning And my sweet jelly roll, she was gone so we're here at MIE doing this master class of residence with the students. Uh, what we're doing is we're, we're kind of uh, giving them an idea of what it's like to be performing live on stage with some of the working musicians like uh, myself and my band. Uh, and so it's, it's an interesting, interesting experience for them. We're actually giving them um, songs from uh, my repertoire um, that they can solo on and they can reinterpret as they want to as kind of a, um, a school in blues rock for this uh, master class residence and it's been going extremely well the students are motivated everybody's having a good time and um, uh, being patient with each with each other which is always nice to see lay awake at night trying to figure this whole thing out uh, keep me wondering what life's all about never get off the shot ain't what it's all about Trying to get a daily bread Et du coup, Musique Académie Internationale, euh, appelée plus communément euh, MAI, bon, on existe depuis longtemps, hein, ça fait euh, plus de 35 ans qu'on existe. Si vous ne connaissez pas, il y en a encore, vous n'êtes pas beaucoup, euh, mais n'hésitez pas à hein, aller sur notre site internet, mifrance.com. Ici, on, ferme, on forme vraiment de tout, euh, les musiciens, de la batterie à la basse, à la guitare, au clavier, les chanteurs, on a même des formations pour les techniciens, pour les créateurs, on fait de la MAO, euh, on fait de la législation, il y a de tout ici, donc n'hésitez vraiment pas. Une masterclass comme celle avec Neil Black, ça m'a apporté déjà, euh, bah déjà le, le fait d'avoir joué avec lui, ce qui sur un CV de musicien entre guillemets est quand même euh, quelque chose d'important, d'avoir de, de, joué avec quelqu'un d'aussi euh, influent que lui dans le domaine. Et c'est un grand honneur pour nous de le recevoir. Du coup, la, ouais, la masterclass euh, avec Neil Black, euh, ça, du coup, ça apporte pareil. Donc, euh, du coup, rencontrer des gens, rencontrer des musiciens, bah, découvrir un univers euh, de voilà d'une personne auquel, enfin euh, moi personnellement, je, je, je connaissais pas. Du coup, euh, j'ai pas, j'ai pas pu écouter. Et là, c'est une bonne manière de rentrer en contact. Et forcément, bah, ils ont des bons conseils après hein, euh, sur euh, sur la manière de jouer, euh, découvrir une nouvelle approche. Euh. Bah, une envie d'en apprendre plus, toujours euh, vraiment une, so une soif de connaissances. Euh, et puis euh, une masterclass euh, avec comme ça, ça, ça permet d'apprendre, de, de voir aussi euh, d'autres approches. Euh, par exemple, là, en l'occurrence, une approche blues à la musique, euh, de rencontrer des professionnels de la musique et puis euh, internationaux en plus. Donc, euh, ouais, c'est super. One of the other things I wanted to mention about being here at MIE is that uh, uh, it's nice to see that they have a facility for performance where the stage is large enough and comfortable. It's a great room to play in, a great concert hall. Um, for each of our uh, instruments classes, it was nice because we had amplifiers in each room, we had pianos in each room, enough for each guitarist, uh, extra drum sets, and as you can see, for tonight, we're going to have two drum sets on stage. And uh, it, I, you know, it's, a, it's a, an invitation to everybody to, who's interested in, in coming out and studying music to come down to MIE and check it out because. Uh, um, I see how motivated the students are here and I see how interested they are in pursuing, uh, continuing this, this uh, cultural form of being a real musician. At, at this time it's difficult um, because um, you have so much music that's being made synthetically and, and not humanly and uh, it's great to see all these young musicians that are still doing that thing of playing 
real music with real instruments with the real human qualities, which means faults and perfections. And uh, that, for me, has really been an inspiration uh, for being here the past three days. And the, and the guys in my band said the same thing, so it was really great like that. After we finish this master class, we're going to be going on tour for two weeks in uh, Germany and, and coming back to France and Germany. And like usual on my tours, um, I, this has been my number one guitar for a long time, for the last, uh, oh, say three or four years. I love it. I really love it. It's light. It sounds great. Um, it's a Les Paul uh, standard. And yes, it is actually a Les Paul. <laughs> Even though it's light enough to not break your back, you can see it's uh, not one of the heavier models. I've got some Seymour Duncans in here, which is a product I've been endorsing for about five years now. Um, the SH-1 and the SH-4s, which are uh, splittable, you can tap it. I had the uh, wiring reset for being able to tap that. And it is uh, becoming so much of one of my favorite guitars that it, it'll be due for a refret soon because it's been getting worn out. It's already, uh, since uh, 1996, it's gonna be uh, an old guitar very soon. And for, for my pedal setup, I'm using uh, a 535Q. Everything else I'm using is really standard stuff because it, it works for me, it's reliable. Um, I've got a lot of other boutique pedals and uh, um, some more vintage pedals at home, but uh, to, to be on the road and, and leave it in the van and, and have it get knocked around on stage and everything, it's more reliable for me. Typical blues driver, going, uh, actually, actually I'm going wah-wah into the overdrive, to the OD3, going into that, into the blues driver, and then um, just using uh, the hardwire delay, this overdrive, the full drive 2 MOSFET, which has been modified in France by IT11 Audio um, for a 20 dB boost on this side. And this is just a typical, almost like a TS9 overdrive. Um, this is what I use when I'm playing the single coil guitars, the Strats, and this other system, these other two are for my humbucker sounds, um, humbucker pickups. And uh, everything else is, is pretty basic. I just got a loopy on this so I can turn on my digital delay without dancing around. So that'll turn on my delay right there. And that turns on my Univibe. Or I can have them both on at the same time. They're always on, but they're not always in the signal chain. And the other thing, which um, is usually left as top secret information, Matt, this is probably one of the biggest secrets for the Neil Black Sound, um, this red box. As you can see, it's very high quality plastic and a very high quality self-made sticker at my home uh, computer printer. And that opens up to my very high quality uh, slide case. <laughs> high technology. What I've been using for the last, oh, five or six years is a Fender Pro Sonic. And uh, I use that on the clean channel. I get the overdrive from my pedals. I, this is originally a Fender Pro Sonic combo. And I took it to uh, Val Martins. As you can see, he's done some work for a lot of other people on ampli on his ampli with amplifiers. Um, and he, because the combos were so heavy, I usually go on stage with two combos of the exact same amplifier. And um, I told him they were just too heavy like that and um, it's, it's making it unpleasant. So he, you can see what he did. He made a head and a cabinet and I have the other head in the van so usually I'll have to set up with two heads and two cabinets and it's much easier to transport, it's much easier to carry. Uh, you don't feel like you're going to kill yourself and, um, and it looks great. It looks like a brand new combo. And nobody has it, which I like that idea too, so that's, that's cool. But uh, yeah, I really recommend if you're interested in having anything done for your amplifiers, check out Val Martins. He does some great work. And he's in France. 
And of course, the strings I'm using, which I've been uh, working with now for, oh, what, how long has it been, Matt? Three or four years that we've been working? I, I've been working with, when I first met you, I think, um, with Savarez. Um, and the thing is, uh, the great thing with Savarez is, if you've got any suggestions, or if you've got a problem, or you want to communicate with them, it's another company in France that works closely with the artists. They work really closely with the artists they're endorsing, but they also work closely with their, their normal day-to-day -day customers that if they've got anything that they need or they want to change uh, to contact them, it's, it's easy to do and it's realistic that possibly they can take care of whatever problem you're having. And I'm using, uh, on my Gibson guitars, I'm using the 10 to 46. And on the Fender guitars, I'm using the 9 to 42. For ce qui est des cordes Savarez, j'utilise des hexagonales 4505. Donc j'ai utilisé, j'ai essayé tous les modèles de, de chez Savarez, qui sont très bien. Mais celle qui me convient le plus au niveau du son et du grain, c'est vraiment celle-ci, les hexagonales, et je les recommande vraiment à tout le monde. Johnny Bell 10, on the country, s'il vous plaît. Si vous avez des réseaux sociaux, pareil, Instagram, Facebook, Musique Académie Internationale, c'est tout simple. Découvrez un petit peu ce qu'on fait ici, on donne pas mal de news. En plus, on a plein de partenaires, on reçoit plein de gens, dont évidemment Neil Black aujourd'hui, grâce, grâce à la marque. Donc n'hésitez pas à nous suivre sur les réseaux sociaux aussi, puis à découvrir l'école si vous ne nous connaissez pas encore. C'est une grande erreur, donc faites-le vite. Et je voulais dire merci à tout le monde pour regarder cette interview sur Savarez TV. Si vous êtes intéressé, vous pouvez checker out um more information about Neil Black on our website, neilblack.net, or on Facebook or Instagram, you'll find us. We have, we have our tour dates, uh, CDs available, and, and all that kind of good stuff. So we'll see everybody next time, all right?